Update: My 27 male ex-girlfriend, 26 female, wants to try again. Original post. My ex-girlfriend and I first got together six years ago, and from day one, we got on like two peas in a pod. Then after two and a half years together, she fell pregnant. We had spoken about kids before and we both wanted a family, but not after just two years together. We spoke about it a lot and eventually decided to go for it. We also agreed that even if our relationship doesn't last, our child's well-being would always come first. And right before the lockdown in 2020, three weeks before the due date, we welcomed a perfect little girl, and both of us were completely infatuated. It was a big adjustment, but our girl was an angel and we settled into parenthood rather quickly. Everything was going great at first, but three months later, it all changed. I was working late when I got a text from my mother to tell me my girlfriend dropped our daughter off with her while she ran some errands, but four hours later, she had it returned, and now she wasn't answering her phone. I called too, but she didn't answer me either. So I got out of work, collected my daughter, and went home to find a note from my girlfriend. She said that she couldn't handle the stress of lockdown and a baby, and she just needed some time to clear her head. She also said not to call, and that we would talk soon. But days turned to weeks with no contact from her, or anyone else other than her sister who visited her niece often, but never mentioned my girlfriend. Fast forward three years, and my ex-girlfriend is slowly starting to reach out again. It was slow at first, liking photos of our girl on Instagram and the odd comment, but that was it, until last week. She sent me a text saying that she had seen how well our daughter and I are doing and asking if we could meet up. I was reluctant, but we agreed before our daughter was born that her well-being is what mattered the most. So reluctantly, I agreed to meet for a coffee so she can see our girl. But now I'm having second thoughts. How do I forgive her for walking out on me? And more importantly, on our daughter? Now for the top advice before reading the updates. Dude, go to the courts and get child support money. Get full custody. What have you been waiting for? 1. Get a family law attorney. 2. Tell your girlfriend that if she wants to be involved in her child's life, that she will have to petition the courts and start paying you back child support. 3. Do not let her emotionally manipulate you. She abandoned her child. If she did it once, she'll do it again. Cancel the coffee date. Talk to a lawyer. Do exactly what the lawyer says. You are owed child support, and she should have to prove she is stable enough to be in your daughter's life. Because right now, your kid doesn't know her mom. But if she abandons her again, your kid will deal with that trauma for the rest of her life. It's your job to protect this child, even if it's from her own mother. So tell her point blank she has to prove she's worthy of being in your daughter's life and that she's not going to run away again. So instead of talking this through like a mature person, she decided to ghost you and your baby for three years. She was absent for three years in your daughter's life, which are some of the most critical from a neurological and emotional development point of view. She just basically abandoned her child and now wants to sit down and talk like nothing ever happened? She's a trash human being who has zero responsibility for her actions and is completely selfish, only thinking about herself. If you decide to meet up with her, make sure to ask her why she thinks her behavior was acceptable and how she intends to make it right. I don't think I would bring your daughter to this meetup. You and she need to talk about what happened and what's changed so you can come up with a plan for slowly reintroducing her into your daughter's life while you see whether this is going to stick. Then you can worry about whether there's a future for you as a couple or whether you're better off as co-parents. Now for the first update. As agreed, my ex and I met up a few days ago in a local cafe and I got there early to try and work out what I was going to say to her after three years. While I hadn't mentioned it in my original post, I had no intention of bringing our daughter along. My ex had contact numbers of my family members, so our daughter was with a co-worker. And when my ex arrived, she was a little disappointed, but not all that surprised to see I was alone. The next few minutes mainly consisted of small talk, before we eventually addressed the enormous elephant in the room, where she had been hiding for three years of our daughter's life. She admitted that she had suffered a lot of postpartum depression, and she couldn't bear to show it in front of our girl. She acknowledged that leaving the way she did was wrong, but she wanted to be able to focus wholly on herself while she got therapy. I asked why it took her three years to resurface. She sent a text for our daughter's first birthday, but that was it. And she broke down admitting that she was so scared of what I thought of her for disappearing. In a way, she was right to be scared, because while I could come to terms with being dumped, I was furious because she left our daughter. Throughout our conversation, I could tell she's grown a lot as a person over the last few years, which is something. We spoke for well over an hour, and when I finally got up to leave, she asked where we stood. 
I told her that I appreciate that she's been really trying to turn over a new leaf, but it's going to take time for me to fully move on. But as a show of good faith, I showed her a video of our girl. It's about six or seven months old, but it's my favorite. It's her and one of my dad's cows mooing at each other. Just before I left, I got her phone number so we can maintain a bit of proper contact rather than through social media, and I agreed to send her a couple of photos of our girl. I appreciate all the advice I got last time, and I'm wondering where my ex and I go from here. My hope is that we can coexist and maintain a healthy friendship for our daughter's sake. But after what happened before, it's hard to fully trust my ex. What do you guys think? Side note, two things I didn't mention to my ex. One, I have zero intentions of rekindling our relationship. I'm open to co-parenting if she can prove she's not going to pull another disappearing act, but that's it. I really loved her once, but I'm a different person now, and that ship is well and truly sailed. Two, at one point I considered putting our girl up for adoption. She was about nine months at a time. I was mentally and emotionally drained. Work was stressing me out and coming home to my daughter just didn't give me any joy, as much as I love her. I was going through the process, but one night, I looked in at her and her cot. She looked back at me at a look on her little face. A cute little smile in her blue eyes shining like I was her whole world. It told me that things would get better, so I cancelled the adoption and never looked back. I could tell she's grown a lot as a person over the last few years, which is something. I'd like to adjust her statement and be more precise. In the limited time we talked with her, it seemed she has grown a lot as a person. I'm not contradicting you. I'm not saying she hasn't. Just saying that people can tell nice stories, and reality could be different from what you observed. Yeah, I could have worded it a bit better. Nah, it's an excellent post. Just wanted you to be careful, but it seems you're already doing fine. I'm also a father and know it can be both hard and rewarding. Keep it up, King. Thanks, man. Means a lot to hear that. Your kids are lucky to have someone as supportive as you. You're a dad every kid needs. Nice of you to say, but I feel like I've barely been holding it together. Especially since my ex resurfaced. During my divorce, I went through a really rough patch like this myself. Barely keeping it together, going through the motions every day. Until just one move slash one look slash one gesture for my daughter snapped me out of this pity party and fog I was in. It turned into enjoyment with her, and my life only being about her. Now I look forward to every minute. Life still throws curveballs and life will always be tough. But it's all about her now. Hope you can find enjoyment in your life, Opie. The little one deserves it. I'm going to suggest that you keep her away from your daughter for now. I don't trust her. I'm a woman and I don't trust her. There is no way in hell I would have left my baby. And I understand why you didn't tell her there's no way you were rekindling it. But in her mind that means she thinks that there's a possibility you guys are working it out. You've gotten your life together. Do not put your baby in harm's way with this woman. In fact, I would go get custody papers drawn up that you retain 100% of the custody and she has supervised visitation and no more. Just hold on to it, but just keep your baby out of it. I'm really proud of what you've done. I know it's really hard. There is no way in hell I would have left my baby. I've never been able to understand how she did what she did, and I doubt that I ever will. It seems like going for full custody is the best thing I can do right now. And my daughter is such a sweet little girl, and I plan to let her stay as carefree and fun-loving as she's always been. It hasn't been easy, but it's been such a rewarding experience. Good for you, man. I would have said don't meet her, except the kid changes things. You're clearly putting your daughter first, and that's great. But don't trust this woman. She'll disappear again when it becomes too much. I wouldn't have given her the time of day if it wasn't for our daughter, because she's our daughter at the end of the day. I've also been talking with a friend I went to school with that studies law, and she's given me great advice regarding sole custody. I hadn't really thought about it before, but my brother and his wife suggested it, so my bases are covered regardless of what happens. Second update. It's been a few weeks, so I thought I'd give another update regarding progress with my ex. First off, thanks to everyone for the advice and support. It's been such a huge help. So down to business. For my ex's request, I accompanied her to a session with her therapist, and she reassured me that she and my ex have made good progress. But she still has some issues to work through specifically her relationship with her parents. She told me they separated, and her mother had a temper, but I didn't know how bad it really was. After the session, my ex left and I hung on for a minute to ask her therapist for her opinion regarding reintroducing my daughter to my ex. She recommended holding off for now and offered me a free session to talk about it, so I'm going to see her next week. On a more positive note, my daughter started preschool two weeks ago, 
is already making friends and has been absolutely loving life. I sent my ex a few photos of our girl to show some support, so things are looking up. Thanks again to everyone that has commented so far. The support I got has been incredible. Makes the struggle of raising a child alone a little better. Now for some comments before reading the third update. Does your ex know you don't want to get back with her? Not yet. I planned to tell her after the therapy session, but stuff came up that I was never aware of even when we were together, so it didn't feel like the right time. Did she show any desire to get back together? I don't think so, but like I said, it really wasn't the right time. I don't know, bro. She left you to do the heavy lifting. She doesn't get to come back and get away with not doing the work all parents put in. Not saying whether or not I would let the ex in your child's life again, but I would do everything I could to protect my child from the chance of this woman disappearing again. But with my child's update until my ex and I had made good progress. But she made a confession yesterday and I don't know how to handle it. She called me yesterday morning asking if we could meet up since she had something important to tell me. I was off and kiddo was at preschool, so I had half an hour to meet her. Soon after I got there, she asked me about our girl and I told her she was doing well. Moments later, she broke down and told me that she wanted to tell me why she decided to reach out, so that there weren't any secrets between us. She admitted that she had been seeing a guy for about 18 months. I don't know his name, so I'll call him Luke. I was initially angry at the thought of her dating while I was raising our girl alone, but she was in tears, so I held back. She admitted that Luke had taken her to his nephew's christening, and she had a total breakdown at the sight of the baby and the thoughts of our daughter. She apparently got really drunk and broke down in tears before admitting to Luke that she had a child that she had basically abandoned. Apparently, she tried to distance herself from Luke after that, but it stuck with her, and his love and support inspired her to see a therapist and reach out to me. I would have run a mile if I was in his shoes, so he has my respect for helping her through that difficult time. I told her I was glad she told me, and happy that she has someone that is so devoted, before I left to collect kiddo. But now that it has fully sunk in, I can't wrap my head around it. How could she have gone off and dated someone else while I was left with our child? I've started to have second thoughts about her second chance, but since I'm not going to my therapist for another week, I thought I'd share it here to hopefully get some advice. Because while I would like my daughter to know her mother in some capacity anyway, I can't overlook the fact that she was dating someone else while I was raising our daughter by myself. She is bad news for you. The new interest for her child is a little mixed bag, in a way that it could be good for your daughter to have her mother again in the picture, even if you two do not get together again. But at the same time, as Luke is trying to save his relationship with your ex and she having feelings for her child, she could also try to get custody of her in order to have her back and have a family with Luke. Seek a lawyer and ask what you can do to protect yourself and your daughter, in case she looks for more than what she's telling you. Remember that Luke is not all the way out of her life yet, as he is the reason she's seeking support, and he is still part of her life as well. Lawyer is a must. She abandoned a child for three years. I was just coming here to say this. Not once in all these posts does he mention a lawyer. Please protect yourself and your daughter. She has proven she can't be trusted. Dude, come on. The fact that you're even considering letting this parasite back into your life is a problem. She abandoned her child for three years, purely because she didn't feel like being a parent. But now that her F-buddy thinks it's a good idea, she wants to try and play mommy again? Cut her off. Legally, she has zero rights to your child since she ditched her. Your daughter will grow up fine without knowing her, better even. Tell her to try being a parent again with Luke, and make sure not to drop this one when it gets stressful. Stop being an idiot. Don't let her back in. Tell her no and to leave you and your child alone. I know, right? Dude is focusing on the wrong thing. It's all like, she's having boyfriend at all when I was raising our daughter alone. When he should be saying, she's only trying to be in our daughter's life because her new boyfriend is pushing it. What happens when a boyfriend dumps her? Will she just abandon the kid again? Or what if he just stops pushing her to have a relationship with a kid? Will she lose interest? These are the questions OP should be asking. So, his love and support did it? And she made it seem like she wanted you back? Is this correct? No way in hell. She doesn't deserve any mercy after abandoning her daughter for three years. But if you take her back in your life, you must be insane. She never made it seem like she wanted me back, mainly because it was never going to happen. Frankly, introducing the ex to the kid at this point is not thinking of the well-being of the kid. If she breaks with a current boyfriend, she will spiral again. She is not a mother material. Don't subject the kid to this kind of...